Today, I'm going to show you how to Dockerize a Spring Boot application. Let's start by creating a new application. Create a new app, Docker Me. I'm going to use Java 8. I'll use Spring Boot 2.7. We'll add Lombok. And I'll add Spring Web. This is just going to be a simple Hello World application. First thing I'm going to do is go through and set up this to listen on port 8181. So I'm going to set server.port equals 8181 in our application.properties. I will now run this application. I'll enable the long block annotations. Everything seems to be up. Let me stop that. I'm going to create one hello world controller. So I'll add a package, controllers, and in that controller, I will create a Java class, hello rest controller. I will make this a rest controller. I will set a request mapping to slash API slash v1. We'll create a get mapping. And this is just going to be a simple hello. And our response is going to be hello spring boot. And Docker. All right. Let's go ahead and run this. Let's make sure that we can connect to it and we get a response with. So in Postman, we're going to go to localhost 8181 slash API slash v1 slash hello. And we get back hello Spring Boot and Docker. So now we're going to Dockerize this. We're going to open up a terminal for our application. All right, we have a terminal open here for our application. And let's go through and the first thing we need to do is to build this. I'm going to build this on the command line with Maven. I'm going to say MVN space clean space compile space package dash D skip tests. This should build our Spring Boot application. And if we now look in our target directory, we'll see our DockerMe 0.0.1 snapshot has been built. Let's create a Docker file in our project. And we can go through and quickly, and I'm going to use JDK 8. I'm going to set a work directory in the slash opt. I'm going to open up a port, 8181. I'm going to expose 8181. I'm going to copy the target slash star dot jar remember there's only one jar file in here. I'm going to copy that into our working directory slash opt slash app dot jar and then I'm going to set our entry point to execute Java any possible Java ops that we have sent in jar app dot jar and this should now run this. So I have Docker Hub running locally in my machine. Got a typo there. And I should be able to build this fairly quickly. Let's try to go ahead and, and build this Docker file. And then we'll try to deploy it. I need to rename our Docker file, file to actually Docker file. 
let's look at this Docker file again. I think I have a typo here and make sure that's entry point. We go out to our Docker desktop. We can see I don't have any images. We can go out the command line and I can build this with Docker space build space dash T space Thomas J consulting slash Docker me colon zero dot zero dot one space dot to use the current directory. It is going through now building the Docker image and I should see that available in my Docker desktop. All right, so our Docker desktop, I now see a Docker image. And let's see if we can start this up. So I can start this with Docker space run, space dash D for detached, space dash P, space 81, 81, colon, 81, 81, space dash dash name, space test underscore service, space Thomas J Consulting slash Docker me colon zero dot zero dot one and this should now start the service as a Docker container. Let's go to our Docker Hub. Go to our containers and we see this is running and it's running on port 8181. So now if we go back to our Postman Let's see if we can make this call again. And it is up and running, but now in a container. All right, we've seen how we can quickly containerize a Spring Boot application in just a few minutes. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and like. Thank you.